Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. Z-Blaze has upgraded their Ares 3 to the Pro level. We're going to take a look at it today. What are the main differences? Slightly smaller screen. I mean, just slightly. But an Ultra HD AMOLED uh, display, which is really cool. You still have the uh, Bluetooth calling, the 24-hour health management, the multiple sports mode. That hasn't changed, but it's primarily the screen technology and a little bit of the battery life. You can pick this one up directly from Banggood. They've got it on sale right now in a flash deal. And check the show notes for a link. Look at that, an AMOLED watch. High quality for under $35. You could also jump over to AliExpress. They have it in the Z-Blaze official store over there. A little bit more, but we're always dancing with coupons. So check the show notes. Maybe you'll have a coupon you can apply uh, and pick it up directly from their store if you'd like to. Basically, the same watch. Now, what's it got going for it? Well, Ultra HD AMOLED uh, display. That means 466 by 466 pixels. There's a lot of S's in that. 326 PPI and up to a thousand nits brightness. It's going to make it brighter outdoors. Vibrant colors. Always on screen display. Should last a really long time. Corning Gorilla Glasses in this one. You got the standard sensors, heart rate monitors. Bluetooth has been updated from 5.1 to 5.2. Uh, same 400 milliamp hour battery and battery life is very similar in uh, between the two that uh, we've reviewed. Here are some features. I'll just let you look at it. We're going to be looking at the watch so you'll see the features directly. You've got um, all of your different fitness activities. Still uses FitCloud Pro. We've got watch faces. Uh, you got four default ones, and of course you can download from the uh, dial store on the FitCloud Pro app, and over 300 different uh, app uh, watch faces to choose from. Here are different languages supported, uh, quite a few. Uh, again, FitCloud Pro, the materials, the wristbands on this one, the overall measurements and durability. How's that for specs? Yeah, ran right through those. Okay, we can take that out. The watch module itself is here. There's a little cover that says what app to use. We all know that now. And there it is, 1.43 inch, I believe. Speaker on here, microphone there for Bluetooth calling. We've got a little cover on the back over the sensors. We want to definitely remove that. It's just a film, thick film on this one, though. Two-point charger, which means we've got a charging unit in here. We got some bands, it looks like, and we're using a dock on this one. Um, so let's take a look at it. USB connection on this end. There's two pins, and I'm sure it's magnetically coupled. Line them up, drop it in. You got it. It's going to work fine. And then, of course, the bands, we'll put those on, but they're uh, silicone style. There's a little bit different about these bands than I'm used to, so I've been wearing it and collecting data. It has a real rubberized feel to it, and, and look at the surface. Looks like some hot car batteries or truck batteries. I mean, tires, car tires or truck tires that they're all polished up, and it's got that kind of feel to it. So uh, they're different. It's a shiny, glossy kind of a band. And then the manual, unique to the Ares 3 Pro, is in here. Quick run through of the English aspect of this. A lot of text. Again, there's the QR code to download the app, but we will have it in the uh, links down below. Some linear text information about it. And I think we're about jumping into other languages now. So very simple, easy, get started type of manual. Well, we got to put it together for you, don't we? Doesn't that look high end with that glossy band? Wow. Okay, we're going to press the top button, give it a second or two, wait for it, wait for it. And there we go. Z-Blaze logo. There was no vibration, by the way, when it started. And it launches into its first watch face. I've worn this for a couple of days now. It's still at 80%. It's got a really, really good battery life on it. Swipe down, you get your overall controls, brightness levels, 
down here is about your lowest, not really dim. At night, it's kind of bright around the house, and it's, like they say, a thousand nits or more, and it's uh, really, really bright for outdoor use. I can put it on, like, number two for our review. You got all the other controls. Uh, this is a do not disturb, which I guess we could turn that puppy off at this point. Um, don't need it on. Had it on last night. There's your super, super bright flashlight. I mean, when you add an AMOLED screen and all the quality, uh, that's going to be <laughs> almost a torch. Information about the watch. It's the Aries 3 Pro, as we know. And what else? You got the Bluetooth calling. You connect this, and, of course, it'll tether to your phone to do Bluetooth calling. And then battery savings and some other stuff in this one. Coming off this way, we've got the step count information for the day. Your overall steps against your goals, calories burned, and so forth. Your hour chart that shows you, wow, oh, it doesn't land right in the middle easily. From midnight to midnight, how many steps you've taken during the day. But there's no gauge on the side, so it makes it a little hard to tell how many total. Just a kind of rough guess about them. Here's your daily totals uh, and an average over the last seven days are included. Here's heart rate, and of course it'll give you instant heart rate. Whatever zone you're in will be shown. Your uh, 24-hour heart rate continuous and your average heart rate are there. Last night's sleep information, and here's the last seven days. Light and deep sleep are shown. And then you get into weather in your area, temperature, and no forecast, just the weather and current conditions. And then the music player, which can remotely play the music directly through the watch. We did that on the Aries 3 uh, review, and it's the same basic sound on this one. So we'll skip that and kind of keep you guys moving. You can add uh, other things or move them around. Workouts is something you can add. And when you do, you get all of your different activities, walking, running, hiking, cycling. No GPS in this watch. So any tracking you get would be through the app. You got to bring your phone with you for that. But just got some basic activities here and more, of course, from the app that you could uh, install with this one if you want to. Come back to the watch faces. You can turn it off or on, or you can go into always on display. Now, to get into that, we're going to go into settings. Here, first of all, you got your menu style, style one or two. That's text or bubble kind. We're going to stay with that. Display now. This is where we choose the watch faces, the brightness, your overall screen time, which I'm going to keep low for right now so that I can show you the always on display capability. Twist your wrist to see the time. We definitely want that to be on. Well, it is from the other um, swipe down, but you can set how long it'll be, and it's set for five seconds on that. That's fine. Now, always on display. Right now it's off. I can turn on a digital display for you. We're going to pop out of this, and I can wait five seconds for this to time out, which we'll do right now. But a faster way, and there you go, digital Faster way would be just to press the button and turn it off too. Okay, so you get a nice black and white digital display right in the center of the screen, uh, just like on the original uh, Aries 3, and that's your digital display for always on. When you're in the AOD analog, it's going to look different like that. Now, both of them are really sweet, really nice, and they're bright. They're bright enough to see not really outdoors in bright sunlight, but definitely indoors or outdoors in the shade. You can see it nicely. So I really like that always on display capability in these watches. And being on an AMOLED uh, screen, it's going to extend your body, uh, your body, your battery life. It might extend your body too. Here's a digital watch that you can play with. I got it on that fast timeout now. That's going to keep me moving. And I know you guys like that. Here's another one. Um, they said there were only four, and that's true. We'll go through all of them. Uh, very vibrant colors on these. Uh, and are we back again? I think so. Yeah, yeah. So those are the four. And then, of course, you can install uh, custom ones, too. going to change this back in the display, in the time, to make it reasonable to go through the rest of the review together. See how quickly we can wipe through that? Now, we were there on display. Battery shows you your current level, and you can go into a power savings mode to make it even longer. 
vibration, intensity, and mode are in here. Your overall languages, which we looked at in the uh, printout of the specs, but just to make sure, these are the ones that are supported in the watch directly. Then you've got your QR code for downloading the app. You can set what the down key will do when you click it and when you long press it. So all of these choices are available. No function if you don't want it to do anything. Bring up whatever you want. Turn on off the screen. Get your data heart rate. Voice assistant can be activated with just a touch. Nice that you have selection of touch and long press, and you can contour it any way you want to. You can bring up a female if you long press it. I don't think so, guys. Uh, but you can bring up, if you're a lady, your uh, menstrual tracking information. He. <laughs> That's a delicate one to get through. Time format, you can set time and date and everything, or you can have it automatically pull it from your phone when you tether to it. System info, we saw, showed you shut down and restart are your basic stuff. And that's everything in the wheel that we got to settings that way. We have this program to go into your menu. Nice, huh? Okay, here are all of your apps. You got the telephone contact, call records, and voice assistant, all applying to Bluetooth tethering and the connection for audio. Then you jump into your walking data, workouts, workout uh, records of whatever you've done. Heart rate, sleep, blood pressure, and blood oxygen are all measured. Now, we don't see the blood pressure on the... Uh, screens when we the windows when we go by but it does do it and it does it with the green diode and then uh, we all want to know about blood oxygen does it use red diode technology yes it does and that's higher accuracy they've shown so uh, you'll get your reading and your uh, highs and lows and stuff and your last seven readings and all of the traditional stuff one more details look at the earlier review we got all kinds of data and went into big detail there Weather, ladies, there's your cycle stuff in the apps. Breath training, that's your inhale, exhale for one or two minutes to relax your breath and strengthen your breath if you really work on it. You got a stopwatch in this one. We started it, it vibrated, but you can't leave it as typical. We can pause it, we can leave it, we can come back into it. Let's see, got to come into here, into stopwatch, and it's where it was, but it doesn't run in the background. So you can reset it, but if you wanted to take a pause while you're working out and then start it back up when you start again, this watch will handle that. Once you leave it, it doesn't automatically reset to zero. Countdown timers are in here. You got alarm clocks, business card thing to set up. Uh, again, setting your time, finding your phone, a calculator's built into it with good size digits. I like that. Try to do some division when I do this so you can get a decimal point. Yeah, that's a nice calculator. Everything across the bottom works well. Um, camera means your remote camera trigger and uh, for the phone when you're uh, taking selfies or whatnot through the app. And then you got a calendar for the current day and, of course, then the full calendar, which you could swipe through or just come back out of as well. And then back into settings which is uh, everything that we looked at already. So we've gone through all the faces. We've seen it all. Let's look at the app. I hear you already. Oh, no, it's FitCloud Pro again. Yeah, that's what the icon looks like. This is in the Google Play Store. Open it. Set up an account. Link the phone to the watch. Let it synchronize. And this is your opening home page. You got basically your step count information, all of that you've seen before. I just love how this kind of hides the chart when you scroll it. That's sweet. Uh, then you've got basically these categories, sleep time, heart rate, blood pressure, and blood oxygen. You can take a health measurement, which will instantly update all of them, or you can do them individually. Last night's sleep time looks like this. You can hit on a card, see what that shades of gray indicates awake light or deep no rim sleep on this one but you got your basics the breakdown in terms of hours for the whole night and that's there you also have weekly charts and yearly charts available you've got heart rate now this is where you start to take an individual heart rate if you want to see the whole day continuous heart rate tap here you get the chart and it expands throughout the day. This is today, and it's only 2.30 right now, uh, so it's only up to there. But you do see that there's a lot of variability in here, 
And I'm saying probably that means don't trust the reading uh, 100%. Uh, it's, it doesn't have any kind of an averaging thing, so you can see it flip all over the place in terms of its readings. Makes it hard to do kind of an analysis of, of it. Uh, I prefer it when you see kind of a curve that goes up and down and tracks more or less maybe an average over the last half hour, 15 minutes. But this is set for individual readings, and so they're... Uh, pretty erratic as you go through it. It's a process and part of this app. It happens in lots of watches, all of them that tether to it. It's just kind of the way it's presented to you. But there it is. Heart rate. Then you got blood pressure. This is your systolic diastolic. You can start it. We'll do that right now just to show you. The, light, the watch lit up, maybe because I twisted it, but it's going to go through. It takes a minute and then it'll give you your numbers right there. When you finished it, um, you can look at that. If you can all also press on the day and see your systolic, diastolic numbers, you can tap on any of them and see the exact reading at that time. And as you can see, I'm like set for every five minutes on this. Uh, and every day, you can go in and see a different day all the way through. If you see it climbing as a group or falling as a group or doing something strange, that's meaningful for you. Otherwise, it's just kind of noisy, straight, kind of within a range type of information. But it does kind of guide you into whether you're too high or too low, I suppose. So you could get some value out of that to talk about with your doctor. Here's blood oxygen. Same thing. Can take an instant reading. Can look at the previous information and... I found sometimes, let's just start it for a second and then go into it. Yeah, it's only showing a couple of spots, but that's just because it's not fully updated. It takes a trick to get this thing to update the blood oxygen, but you'll get the same kind of a chart that you saw before. And it should have earlier days on there too. It might be there's a switch not toggled in here in the settings to take continuous blood oxygen. You have to turn all those on individually. Speaking of which, let's jump over. We've looked at everything on the home tab. We go to device. Aries 3 says it's connected. You could disconnect it if you want to or unbind it. You got the option of doing business cards for all these different social media things to share if you're into that. Set up push notifications for all the different apps you may have on your phone to the watch. Select which ones you want. Set up alarms. You got uh, sedentary reminders, drink water reminders, sports push. These are all the different activities. You saw there were only a few on the watch, but you have access to all kinds of different uh, activities you can do. Swimming is in here. In fact, there's an entire water uh, section in here if you want. Uh, casual, flexible, and so forth. So explore that at your leisure. Raised to wake, we've got elevated heart rate measurements we've turned on, and you can do the automatic monitoring starting at different times that does all of those different readings. Uh, so that you want to have activated. Left or right hand makes a difference. 12 and 24 makes a difference. The rest of it's simple, right? So the only thing we haven't shown you is dial library. Uh, you have my dials, which are the ones that you've actually downloaded. Um, then you've got, of course, all the colorful ones that come in the store itself. And uh, color themed, if you get a silver watch or a gold watch or the black watch, you can pick out whatever you like. Any of you see one you want to see up close? The B? Okay. Uh, let's do the B. See, I have one position that I can put that in. I'm going to push it over there. Doesn't take too terribly long. There we go. And it's pushed. Push success. Ta-da! There we go. Wow, it looks like it's flickering while it's flying. That's not the way the watch looks. It looks fine. It's an interface between the frequency of the camera and the, uh, the watch that's pulsing, I guess. Anyway, um, that's it for the app. Those are the dials on the me. You've got all of your stuff, your information. You got the women's health that you can set up your calendar and, and track your period information. Overall units are in here. We look at this every single time, so you're very familiar with this, I'm sure. Here's cloud syncing information, run in the background. Uh, the different themes that you can choose for the app, light or dark. I like to use dark. It just, it's a preference, I guess. And, of course, you could log out from the app if you wanted to as well. 
Okay, well, let's uh, let's summarize. This is an Aries 3 watch, definitely. It's the pro version, so it has a bright AMOLED screen. That's freaking me out. That on, I'm going to go back to a different face. Let's pull in that nice red one that goes so well with the bezel. Mm. Uh, it's got some really shiny uh, black bands. It looks elegant when you're wearing it, but it's a sports watch. With the uh, AMOLED screen, you got great uh, battery life. The always on display is a nice enhancement. It's a tiny bit smaller, works for men or women, this uh, particular one. And it's available in a couple of different sources, directly from Banggood. Uh, they've got it ready to come to you in the flash deal right now at about $35. We may have a coupon discount, so always, always check the show notes for that before you begin. And please use the link in the show notes because it helps us get credit for uh, for you jumping over there. Uh, if you prefer, you can go to AliExpress and pick it up from their ZBlaze official store, roughly about the same price. Look at that, extra 2% off. So there's always things that will bring the price down a little bit. Sometimes if you're a new customer, either Banggood or AliExpress, you get a good discount right off the top. So check that if you haven't bought from either source yet. Are we done? I think so. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon.